Hi, I'm home improvement expert Lou Manfredini. Let's go window shopping. No, not the kind you do at a department store. I'm talking about shopping for actual windows. One of the most important decisions a homeowner can make, whether it's for new construction, remodeling, or replacement. You know, windows are one of the most critical features of your home. They bring in light and air and keep out the rain, heat, and cold. From the outside, your windows make a statement about you and the design of your windows gives the world a clue about your personal style. Well, I'm going to give you a basic course in windows. Let's call it Windows 101. I'm going to talk about different styles and features and what you should look for when choosing windows for your home. And I'll talk about window performance and energy efficiency. So, let's get started. Now, double-hung windows are some of the most widely used windows in American homes. It gets its name from the two sashes that you see here. You can open the bottom sash and you can also lower the top sash, thus the name double-hung. Oh, and one more thing, make sure when you're choosing double-hung windows, you choose ones that tilt in for easy cleaning. It's going to make your life so much easier. Now, casement windows are the kinds that have a crank at the bottom that you open up like a book. Now, there's different styles in these types of windows, and they can come in all different shapes as well. Marvin even has one that you actually push out without a crank. But let me show you something special about this particular window. It has a wash mode where you're able to disconnect the hardware, crank it back in, then flip the window around to be able to wash the outside of the window from the inside, which means you never have to get up on a ladder. Well, what you're looking at now is an awning window. It kind of resembles an awning, doesn't it? Hinged at the top, hardware at the bottom, and you crank it open like a casement window. It's almost like a casement turned on its side. But the airflow can come from underneath, and you can put it like over a kitchen sink or over a bank of picture windows. Best part about it is you can leave it open in a light rain and still get airflow into your home. Round top windows have become very popular in recent years. You know, the arch has been a fundamental in design throughout history. You see it everywhere. It's a very distinctive look that you can now bring into your own home. Okay, now let's talk about your choices of materials. The most common materials are vinyl, aluminum, fiberglass, wood, and clad wood. Now I'll spend a minute on each of them. You know, today's vinyl windows are much improved from past offerings, but vinyl really isn't terribly energy efficient, and it can also fade, warp, and crack over time. Many vinyl windows can degrade significantly in as little as five years. Now, aluminum windows are more durable, but they also kind of rank lower on the energy efficiency scale than wood or clad wood. Metal is a poor insulator from heat and cold, and cheaper aluminum windows often don't have a long-lasting exterior finish. Now, fiberglass windows offer many benefits. Their thermal efficiency is greater than vinyl or pure aluminum. They're very durable, too. They're available in a wide range of styles and sizes, and their finish resists fading, cracking, and chalking. Now, personally, I prefer wood or clad wood windows. Natural wood windows are long-lasting and energy efficient. They're available in a range of wood species, and you can paint or stain them any way you like. But if you want the energy efficiency benefits of wood with a low-maintenance exterior, consider aluminum-clad wood windows. The difference between all aluminum windows and aluminum clad is simple, natural wood. With a clad window, the frame is natural wood, but an aluminum covering or cladding is applied snugly over the window's exterior. On high quality windows like Marvin, the cladding will come with a commercial grade finish that resists cracking, fading, and scratching. If you're considering clad windows, ask about the thickness of the cladding. Now Marvin uses extruded aluminum that's the thickness of a quarter. Many other windows use roll form aluminum that's the thickness of a soda can. Okay, let's talk about dollars and cents. Now, windows and doors are the biggest source of energy loss in your home, accounting for up to half of your lost heating and cooling. Today's windows are much more energy efficient than they were even 10 years ago. New replacement windows can save you 15 to 25% on your monthly heating and cooling bills. For a typical homeowner, that can add up to $350 to $450 a year. But wait, there's more. The federal government is offering a tax credit of up to $1,500 towards the purchase of new energy efficient windows. That's a tax credit, not a tax deduction, meaning every cent winds up right back in your pocket. 
You'll also benefit in ways you can't put a price tag on. New windows will make your home lighter, more beautiful, and livable with new windows. If you'd like to learn more about Marvin Windows and Doors, go to marvin.com and find a dealer near you. I'm Lou Manfredini. Thanks for watching.